The former senator was met with applause and quite a few hugs from friends, families and colleagues at today's renaming ceremony of Franklin Park. Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodards also spoke on the importance that Franklin had while she served in the state legislature, along with highlighting her work in making Tacoma a better place. One, yep. two, two, three. <laughs> Tacoma honors one of its trailblazers. Metro Park has officially renamed the park next to Franklin Elementary School after Rosa Franklin, the first black woman to serve as a Washington state senator. While in office, Franklin championed policies and infrastructure for health equity and equal housing. But today wasn't just about her work in the legislature. Washington lawmakers like Tuana Nobles shared how important it was to see Franklin because it showed her what was possible. It is so important to see representation. It allowed me to um, not only be inspired by, by her story, but to know that I could one day be a state senator. Being a senator now, I know how complex the work is, so I have even more admiration for her because I know what it takes to exist in this space. Thank you, Victor. And after a lifetime of public service, Franklin says she's confident in what comes next. I have great faith in the future because I, I look back at our history and I know where we came from. So without hope and faith, you'll never make it. But in case you were wondering, Franklin says she's still got work to do. Yeah, I'm not finished yet, though. At 94, I'm still going. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Franklin also had some advice for some of the younger members of the state legislature, along with some young people who are thinking about getting into politics. She said that one of the most important things to do is to study your history because you can't know where you're going until you know where you come from. And when asked how she was able to maintain a career that spans decades, she simply said she prayed a lot. From the newly renamed Franklin Park in Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.